Welcome back, y'all, to my YouTube channel, uh, e-buyers and, and YouTubers. So, uh, good news, a bit of good news. As soon as I uploaded the um, the Metroid Game Boys, uh, I had my shipment of uh, screens come in. So, I have a new shipment of LCD screens. I have six of them, so I'm going to be able to mod six Game Boys. Yes, I'm going to throw in the last two Metroids. I really am thinking about keeping one, but I'm going to start with this one because I had put this one on hold. I just got excited with the Metroids and built that one first, so I'm gonna build this one next. I've uh, I've already had it open um, because uh, I don't remember what I was doing with it, but I had taken out the screws and oh, there's that black little screw right there. Uh, I had previously opened this one to get it prepped, and then when I pulled out a screen, I realized that I didn't have any screens uh, for it. But yeah. So anyway, I'll be working on this one. Um, this is an original case, of course. I will be using it. It just needs a little bit of cleanup. It does have little scuffs right here, scratches, which is fine. I, I think y'all seem to like it like this with original screens. I like them like this as well. Um, I'm going to clean up these buttons. These buttons are original. That. As you can see, the motherboard. It's in pretty good shape. I'll be bending these. Uh, I'll be taking these uh, pins, making them a lot better. Or oh, you know what? I think I already did that. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't recall if I did that to this Game Boy Advance yet, but uh. I will be pulling those pins out and cleaning them up. Uh, I'll be cleaning my usual things, the buttons, the start and select, the D-pad. You know, doing my original thing, cleaning up the, the speaker and everything. But, man, stay tuned. I won't, I'll try not to make this a video too long. But, uh, give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay, folks, I'm back. So, I just got this, the shell cleaned out. And look, it, it actually cleaned up pretty well. Like you know, like any youth show, you got some scuffs, but this is this is not as major as some of the other ones I have. Some of the some of the ones I have, I'll just have to replace the whole show. But you know what? I'm gonna keep doing. Uh, how do you say? Well worth it mods. You know, make the show well worth it because yeah, those cheap little shells. I'm I'm not liking them. But anyway, man, look at that. Nice clean, got all the gunk off. I'm trying to look for scratches. Do y'all see any scratches? There's there's one right here at the way bottom right there, but that's all I see. The faceplate looks pretty good. Mm, you might... No, it feels smooth. I, I thought there was some dents there, but there's not. Anyway, I got these two cleaned up. I'm working on the buttons now and the back plate. Letting that soak for a while. I've already cleaned this up pretty well. I got the speaker nice and clean. All the contacts have been clean. I pulled these little suckers out. That has been cleaned as well. Oh, I can't get a good focus on that. I never can. I promise y'all guys, when I get an actual camera that I could put over what I'm doing. Yeah, see how it popped out a little bit? I will do this uh, live, if you will. I cleaned the, the volume button. It just started leaking on me a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, it's still drying out. Uh, I did the off and on button. Cleaned it out with alcohol, too. It needs to dry. It's still kind of somewhat wet. Uh... But anyway, uh, I'm going to start putting the shell while this, uh, I'm going to put the screen in the shell while this is still drying out. i got to lay it vertical, that way it dries out, but I'll be right back. Okay, there we go, folks. The screen is in. All those little pads have been cleaned out pretty good. Uh, I'm going to put the motherboard in. Uh, why did I say that wrong? I'm going to put the motherboard in real quick. Uh, motherboard is pretty much ready. Uh, I can't turn it around because otherwise everything will fall apart. But anyway, I'll be right back. Well, guys, I got the motherboard in. Man, this one oh, it took a while. 
I had a I was having a problem with the ribbon cable not going in all the way. Uh but I got that figured out. Golly. I had to take out I took the motherboard out three times in a row. Uh so yeah, it's uh it's on there. It's on there for good. Um got the buttons functioning properly. But yeah, let me go ahead and finish it up and uh, I'll get back to you when I, I'm ready for the glass. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I am back. Um, got it all buttoned up. So, everything is pretty much original here. I was able to save every last bit of it from the stickers all the way to the actual buttons. Now. I need to put the screen in, but I'll do that in a little bit. But first, I'm going to crank it on. I'm going to fire it up for y'all. I don't know why I say crank it on. But... <clears throat> okay. Got to put a game in. As you all know, I am a big fan of Metroid. May, may, uh, I do have another Metroid game, but it's in um, uh, it's in a mod chip. I promise y'all one of these days I'm going to get a proper camera that I could, you know, record everything I do. Um, that way I can see the process that I take for this because cleaning does take some time. Uh, and also pulling the pins out for this thing takes uh, time as well. And you have to be very careful because you can you can't pull them out and then from there you're pretty much in trouble. You have to replace the pin itself which I know how to do or replace the whole uh, cartridge uh, game reader here's a Nintendo Game Boy <clears throat> yes I pull these pins out um, I do that to all my builds sometimes I show them the camera sometimes I don't because it is time consuming um, I think I've only showed it once on the camera Man, there you go. I'm going to slap the glass in. And I'm going to do it uh, off camera again because I already have a little speck right here. And that is on the other side of the screen. I don't want it to touch the inside of that. So I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I am back. Uh, the screen is on. I was very successful. Don't worry. This is on this side of the screen. Uh... But I got I got rid of that little dot. But anyway, there you go. An original. What do they call this color? I call it purple. I don't know if purple is the correct term for this uh, console. Indigo, I think, is what it's called. Uh, I think the last time I had it on on eBay, it was called that indigo. The last one I sold had a IPV, no, IPS screen, the second version. This is now the third version. I am not doing uh, version 2 anymore. I am sticking to version 3 now. Uh, I think y'all get uh, better value for your buck. Um, if you like this uh, Game Boy and want to go check it out, you know, go to my eBay listing. I will leave the link on the description below. Um, Go check it out for yourself. See if you like it. I have, these have sold pretty quick, so I expect this. Well, I'm hoping that this one gets sold as quick as the other one did. Uh, man, I got four or five other more screens uh, in stock. I am going to build uh, some other ones. Man, I wanted to do uh, Here. I ordered this pure white uh, Game Boy. This shell is crap. 
uh, I am not gonna build it. It's very flimsy. Oh my gosh. Here. Uh, I guess I'll make a quick little review. This is not what I expected. This is look look how cheap that is, man. This is so thin. I feel like I'm gonna break it. I I don't like this. I am not gonna build this one. I wanted to. I was hoping to get that one that had like a felt touch to it. But this is just extremely cheap. And I don't I think the pink one was better is better than this one. But this is crap. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and build another the two more Metroids and one more original. But anyway, you like this video? If you like this video, please like and comment. Uh, I would like for y'all to subscribe if you are watching for the first time. Uh, this will really help me out. And uh, man, I'll do something for y'all in the next video. Well, should be pretty soon. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.